Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my daughter's nursery. For those of you who have not watched any of my other videos, um, probably because you're new to my channel since I'm new to YouTube, I have a daughter who you can probably hear right now. She is seven months old and her name is Ava. My channel is all things motherhood and lifestyle. Just to give you an idea of what you're gonna see, I did not have a specific theme for my daughter's nursery. My husband and I have very eclectic tastes. We like everything farmhouse to modern to boho to you name it, we like it. Um, we did a lot of DIY projects. We had to stick within a budget because our house right now is not our forever home. So we really, we wanted to give our daughter something really special and beautiful, but we did not want to splurge and go crazy just because we know we're not going to be here forever. Um, so here we go. Ava's room is painted the softest shade of pink. We used Bare Brand paint from Home Depot and the kind we used was the lowest VOC available, which is recommended when you are painting when you're actually pregnant. I'm going to start with my favorite wall in Ava's room. We received a couple very special gifts that are hanging and to me they're price they're priceless. To begin, my brother-in-law is an artist and he painted Ava um, the painting that's on the left side of the wall and it's an original work which is so special and he painted it thinking of her and I just know it's something that she's going to hold on to forever. There's also a framed photo of one of Ava's ultrasounds. I'm not sure how big she was in it, but it was the guest book that was used at one of my baby showers. And there's so many sweet messages that were written from my friends and my family. And again, something that she can hang on to forever. Ava's dresser was a hand-me-down and it was actually a wood color to begin with and did not have knobs on the side drawers. We absolutely love the dresser and its mid-century design. However, it really needed to be cleaned up. Um, we ended up sanding the dresser, painting it, and finishing it. And it is black. We added the small poles. Like I said, it didn't have any poles on the outside drawer. So we added those and the poles in the middle were existing. We ended up spray painting them, all the poles together, we ended up spray painting them so they would match. The dresser was probably the biggest project we had in this room, but we are so happy that we did it. I love the way it turned out, and I was very nervous at first using black paint and then the gold pulls, but I think it turned out awesome. Fun fact, after we did this and we put it in Ava's nursery, Pottery Barn released their line of baby furniture called Modern Baby, and it actually features a black dresser with gold pulls. So there you go. If you are considering painting a piece of furniture, make sure you do your research and decide what type of paint method is going to be best for you. Chalk paint is really easy and there is not a lot of prep work. However, it wears more quickly and it's recommended that you treat it every so many years. I really like the look of chalk paint and it appeals to me when you think about the prep work involved, but I knew this dresser was gonna get a lot of wear and tear, especially because it's a child's dresser. We were also using it for a changing table, so there are going to be a lot of things touching its surface. Um, knowing that we are going to have to also refinish it multiple times using chalk paint, just it didn't appeal to me anymore. So I really recommend understanding what you need when you're going into refinishing furniture. We ended up using, um, I think it was just a latex paint. A lot of people use oil paints on furniture and it did require a lot of work, a lot of sanding and time, but I know that it's done and it's going to be very durable for years to come. We didn't have any room for a separate changing table, and honestly, we didn't want one either. So my husband actually built the topper for the dresser that contains the changing pad and her wipes and diapers and the lotion I use most often. We knew we wanted a topper that kept everything together, but when we were shopping around, everything we found was at least $200 or more. Um, so if you or your partner are handy, I would definitely look up plans online and build one for yourself. Um, you know, a little extra elbow grease and 
doing a DIY project can save you a lot of money like it did for us. And I really like how it, you know, it keeps everything together and it also offers a little extra protection for a baby when they're up there getting their diaper changed. Lastly, we hung three hexagons on the wall to display just some odd knickknacks that we have, you know, her piggy bank and actually my rattle and um, stuff from when I was baby that I'm giving her. But geometric shapes are really popular right now and these types of shelves can actually be really costly. I found these in the craft aisle at Target. I'm not sure if it's in the kids section, but it has all sorts of unfinished um, painted or unfinished projects that you can buy and paint. Um, we ended up just staining them with some stain we had at home that we also used for some shelving in her room. And I think they turned out great. Um, and we saved a ton of money. I think we, I don't know that we spent more than between five and $10 on these. Um, we all, it's also recommended that you always have a fan going in your nursery because it does reduce the risk of SIDS. So the little fan on her dresser is what we got. I know it's tiny, but it has some serious strength and you can feel the air moving when you're standing by her crib. Um, it, it's also kind of loud, so I like the noise it provides um, for sleeping for her. The tiny lamp on her dresser has really come in handy also. We originally had it in our room when Ava was a newborn. Um, it was just used for when we were changing diapers, and we've since moved it in here now that she's sleeping in her crib, and it's perfect for those middle-of-the-night diaper changes because the light is very focused since it's so small, and it has three settings. So the first setting is very soft, not to mention it's activated by touch, so you don't have to mess with any crazy switches. The Roman shade that is covering her window was custom made by my in-laws actually, and it's honestly the most beautiful fabric. It's gray and gold. It's gray with gold threading and gives off an iridescent glow when it's in the right light. I felt like it tied all the different colors of her room together, and we absolutely love it. We had to add the blackout curtains after the fact. We found that too much light could get in around the shade, and Ava likes a very dark room to sleep. I don't love the blackout shades, but we really had no choice, and they're nothing fancy. We found them at Kohl's, I believe, but we did buy a specific curtain rod that allows for the blackout effect. The ends wrap around to the wall, so it doesn't allow any light to get in on the side of the curtains. And then also talking about the window, I do have to give credit to my husband for the trim work he did. We have um, just a standard home and, you know, like so many other homes, the windows were just drywall, but he has been slowly adding this craftsman style trim work, which I think adds so much character to the room and can really turn your window into a more upscale or make your window look like it has a more upscale look. Um, I did purchase a fiddle leaf fig tree for Ava's room. I love that it gives her room a nice green color, and I think it's beautiful. They can be a little bit finicky, so if you are going to have a plant and you're not great at keeping things alive, make sure you do your research. Um, it is definitely a temperamental tree, but I think it's very cute. And then also having a tree or some kind of live plant in your nursery offers a natural source of air purification. So I definitely recommend that. Something that is really easy to keep alive is an aloe plant, and that really does purify air well. My husband built these shelves that are hanging above her rocker. I had a vision for what I wanted, but I couldn't find anything at an affordable cost to us. We ended up just staining wood that we had bought at, I believe it was just at Lowe's, and we bought the brackets um, from there as well. And they were originally black, but we found that looking for gold hardware, um, had a hefty price tag just because it's so trendy right now. So we found something that was, you know, that you could find in an abundance and we just spray painted it. And they're actually spray painted the same color as the poles on her dresser. So everything matches. The palms that are hanging from her shelves are actually from Michael's. They were used 
at my baby shower for decorations and I just think they worked so perfectly in her room um so it, it just offered a lot of color and something fun and whimsical I absolutely love the rocker that I chose. I opted to get just a rocking recliner from Amazon. There are so many different options, whether you want a glider or a swivel chair, um, but I knew I wanted something that would recline and it offers that rocking motion. Um, it was kind of risky getting it off of Amazon because I wasn't able to test it first, but I love the modern slim style, especially because her room is small and it act and it's really, really comfortable. So I will link that below along with any of these other items I'm talking about that I can find because I really, I really do love her rocker. Ava's lamp is from Target, and don't get me wrong, we love the style of it. I think it looks great in her room, but I don't think that this lamp is very conducive for what we were trying to accomplish for this corner. The light shines directly in baby's face if it's turned over the chair, so you know we have to turn it the other direction. But if you are looking for some kind of corner lamp, I would, I would look for something where the light is directed outward or upward, not downward. We wanted to create a statement wall for Ava's room, and we didn't want anything that was necessarily a traditional style. We also wanted things to be kind of casual in this room, so we decided to do a faux shiplap wall. My husband created it himself using 4 by 8, four by eight sheets of um, 3 eighth, three eighths inch plywood that we got at Lowe's. It was pre-primed, which made painting so much easier. And, you know, shiplap is so trendy right now. You see it in so many homes and it's on, you know, so many different design channels and shows. So shiplap is so trendy right now with everyone and their mother wanting a farmhouse style something in their house and it's really easy to create the look using plywood um, you can buy actual shiplap and planks if money's no object and I'm sure it's a lot easier than you know what we did with the plywood but if you just look up um, DIY directions online you'll find so many different ways to create this it would it went up on the wall using glue and a mixture of glue and a nail gun and we painted it after it was up and I actually I really like how it turned out the animal prints above Ava's crib I purchased off of Etsy and then I framed them myself I found the frames at Joanne Fabrics, actually, and I used I did use a coupon when purchasing the, them. I wanted to offer a different element by keeping the transparency in the glass, um, which to me gave the pictures a modern feel. I loved the flat black frames and the contrast that it offered against the white wall settling on a crib. I wanted something that was very plain and gave a modern look while also allowing for a long-term use. Shopping around, I found that a lot of cribs were very, very elaborate, way more elaborate than what I was looking for. And I actually found this crib at Bed Bath & Beyond online. And bonus, I was able to use their 20% off coupon on it. A lot of times you can't use those coupons on furniture, but it did work on this crib. Um, it's a four-in-one crib, so it'll transition from crib to toddler bed to day bed to a full-size bed. So it'll offer, um, you know, it'll offer something for her to sleep in from birth until she's out of the house. Um, they do offer it in a natural wood color also, which I kind of regret not getting. I think it would have offered a nice contrast against this white wall, but long-term, I am glad I got the white one. Ava's bedding is from Pottery Barn and Target. Her crib skirt um, and bumper, which I don't use the bumper all the time, and the quilt were on sale at Pottery Barn. I am not sure if they're still selling them. If they are, I will link leave links below. And then these are just standard crib sheets from Target, and it's a gray color. Her mattress is a foam mattress that we got from Target, and we actually really, really like it. It was inexpensive, and it seems just as comfortable as, you know, some of the expensive crib mattresses that are out there. We opted to not get a mobile for her crib. I had a hard time finding one that I liked because I can be so indecisive, 
but I'm actually glad I didn't spend the money because by the time she transitioned to her crib, she was sleeping on her stomach and she wouldn't have seen the mobile anyway. We do love the baby Einstein dream soother, um, which we have hanging on the side of her crib. You know, it just has a lot of options from playing songs to a white noise. It lights up, it can move, and it's, you know, sometimes it keeps her entertained when I'm doing something around the house and I need her in her crib. Her monitor is also mounted above her crib, which is, you can see the cord hanging there. We don't, we would like to find another way to do this, but, um, we do like that we, you know, had the option to put her monitor where it is. We have a love-hate relationship with this monitor. It does go in and out at times because it runs off of Wi-Fi, but from all the research I'm doing, this is really common. I am going to link it below because it's one of the only monitors I found that gives you an actual um, tablet to view and then also has an app that you can use on your cell phones. It was really important to us, especially for when we had babysitters, that they were able to look at a hard monitor and not have to use some kind of app. We didn't want people downloading these apps and having access to them, you know, if they weren't going to be at our house all the time. And then also when we're out and about, we can check in on her and see how she's doing. I found Ava's chandelier at Pier 1. This was another item that I shopped for forever. I knew I wanted something really beautiful, but I did not want a traditional style chandelier. This um, I kept looking up Bohemian style chandelier, and this is actually called the Bohemian chandelier. Um, I think it's so beautiful. It is silver, and the crystals are an orangish yellow color, and we did put this light on a dimmer, so it's absolutely beautiful when you change it. And then finally, to conclude this, Ava's rugs are were both purchased from Rugs USA. Um, I love the Moroccan slash Bohemian pattern on her large rug, and the other one is just it's just kind of a little accent that I added and it is a faux sheepskin rug I didn't want anything real um I do love it I think it offers a really cute element and my cat loves it as well but anyways that concludes Ava's nursery tour I hope you love it as much as I do and can maybe get some ideas for your nursery I really wanted to tie together our eclectic style in one space and I really think that we accomplished that Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your bell notifications so you know when I do post videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. I just have to add that I have not shown my cat in any of my videos and I should because He's beautiful and evil, and we love him. Oh, but this is Reggie. You're going to be violent on YouTube. Shame on you. Shame on you.